Hello everyone and welcome to day two or part two of my deep cleaning, spring cleaning. So this was the day after I deep cleaned or spring cleaned the lounge area and dining room area and now I am cleaning or going to clean the dining room chairs. The only disappointment for me was the fact that I did not have the right product to clean these chairs. However, I did get the satisfaction from the fact that they were cleaned at least, but I didn't get the satisfaction in terms of the cleaning itself, the detergent, because I wasn't getting any foam, you know, to get that, you know, when you get that satisfaction and there's a lot of foam when you're cleaning and you can literally see the dust or the dirt um you know showing on the foam and being picked up by the detergent or the soap so i didn't have any um like i didn't have upholstery is it upholstery uh or upholstery uh cleaning a soap or detergent or whatever for these dining chairs so i ended up using the that green soap i think it was um a soap for dishes and also I mix it with this uh, handy handy which inside is not a real handy handy. That's a story for another day. <laughs> but I tried to clean with these two products on this day. And I got a little bit out of them in terms of foam. But it was not foaming the way that I wanted. But like I said the satisfaction here was the fact that I cleaned these seats. Now the only thing here on these um seats is that they are not filthy they were not filthy they were just dirty especially on the head resting or the back resting place you know people like to touch there if they come to speak to you or they are walking by and they touch the chairs so that's where they get the dirt but the seat itself it just had stains i don't know like oily stains whatever i don't know if maybe from food or from the when the children are playing um around or oh, when they are sitting on the chairs but yeah so i wanted to just first soak up with water these chairs as much as i can before i use a bucket because eventually i use the bucket i know it seems like it's a lot of water that i'm using right there but i needed to soak them first before i go in and brush as you can see this is not a lot of foam i wanted more foam than this however this is what i was working with and you know it worked <laughs> the way it did So I was done now with the the last chair, the third chair, because I I'm, I'm only I only did like three chairs a day. This was like the day after the first spring cleaning, and then now the the other the, the last day will be for the last chairs. As you can see, that the this it the rain was starting to come down. <laughs> But I wasn't giving up. There was wind and everything, which is what I was hoping for, but not the rain. But I did not give up. So I I was done here cleaning these chairs and I just placed them 
you know, against the wall. And as you can see, this, the trees stop playing around and shaking because the wind was sort of gone. However, as you can see, the sky, though it was still really, really cloudy, but the rain kept on coming and going, kept on coming and going, and I just left the chairs out here. And then later on, I'll put them in the on the patio just so that it, they don't get rained on and they don't get like leaves on them being blown from the trees. So at this stage, the wind and the rain had stopped and just gonna push them against the wall so that they can drip some more and also um, get the warmth because it was still a very nice and warm day, you know, regardless of the rain. And this was actually the following day and I had placed the chairs like this to just to face the wall so that no one can sit on them because we did have visitors later on that evening, um, the previous day in that evening and I didn't want them to sit on the chairs and I just placed them like this and as you can see the whatever I had that I was using mm. like the handy handy and the other green soap it did not really help in terms of those stains uh, I don't know what stains are these but they're not like black or whatever they are as they are shown here on camera it's like oil or something like that but like I said the chairs were cleaned you know I did see that coming out but it was not a lot because like I said the chairs were not filthy but they were just you know just needed a little bit of clean and my concentration as well was where the head is resting and where people touch on the chairs. Now these are the last of the chairs uh, around here on the table. And I'm just going to move them out of the table or away from the table and so that I can take them outside to go and wash them. Like I said, this was the third day of my spring cleaning. And this was around 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm going to take the chairs out. And as you can see, these ones as well, they have the similar stains or same stains to the other ones that I washed the day before or yesterday. Mm. And um, as you can see, that this one is the worst. <laughs> this one is the worst. Um, but yeah, the dirt is mostly, like I said, where people touch, where the head rests or the back rests. But yeah, now I'm getting ready to take these chairs outside so that I can start washing them. So I'm going to do the same thing. Water them down uh, before I use the bucket. That gives me like um, sort of, what can I say, an ease. Um, it makes it easy for me to use the brush if they are already wet because if they are dry and I have to use the bucket and still pour the water with the bucket it's just gonna be it's just gonna be a, a really tedious job so that's why I water them down it might seem like a lot of water but it's necessary in the beginning when I'm washing them but like I said my regret is that I don't have the right kind of detergent to wash to wash these so chairs. just a but little yeah. detour <laughs> um we had someone come and help out with the weeds which were in between these plants and they just a little nostalgia for me i used to see a lot of those in east london growing up a lot and also we have these big trees two big trees here in the yard and the birds always come and sit here, but they never nest. I don't know why. I would have loved to see a couple of nests, you know, hanging on the tree branches. But yeah, they don't nest. But yeah, just lovely trees. And the dogs always love coming out, you know, to the grass area, rubbing themselves <laughs> and playing around on the grass. And then in this area here... um around this area all over the town in fact you will find these yellow beads or yellow i don't know what these are um they're always all over the street close to the trees and stuff like that one of the trees here is actually um responsible for this it's got these um flowers that have these 
um, things like these, but the other ones sometimes, sometimes they, they uh, bloom into flowers. Um, I'll show you just now in a minute how they look like, like, um, you see this, uh, reddish kind of thing. Yeah, sometimes they fall on the floor. I don't know why or how they flow, uh, fall on the floor and then they become yellow as you saw on the, down there. But, um, when they are still attached to the branches, they become this, uh, lovely, uh, flower over here. And yeah, they are all over the, the town. But yeah, it's lovely sometimes to just come out here and just walk around and see the dogs play around um, on the grass as well. So now back to cleaning and finishing these chairs.
this was the um, final show on these chairs. It was late in the day, like I said, I started at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and this was like late at night, about 6, and I finished with these chairs, and they were looking really, really nice, I must say. But obviously, those little stains that I I just don't know what they are. I keep saying it. Um, I keep saying that I don't know what those things are, but yeah, and the satisfaction, like I said, is only the fact that they are clean. And looking at them, so you can see that they clean. This was actually the only chair that did have didn't have any stains on this actual set. It was just nice and clean. So that's it for my deep spring cleaning. Thank you for watching. Bye.